Hey guys, in this video I am going to walk you through the complete process of migrating a live WordPress website onto your local server. I have a local installation of WAMP server running on my Windows computer right now. And here is the live WordPress website that I am going to copy onto my local server. So as you can see this website is live right now and this website is made in WordPress and I am going to walk you through the complete process of migrating this live WordPress website onto my local computer which has a WAMP server running on it. So the first step in the process of migrating this live WordPress website will be to go to the cPanel, log into the cPanel, go to phpMyAdmin and export the complete WordPress database of the live WordPress website. So this is how we do that. I have already logged into the cPanel of my live WordPress website and I am inside the phpMyAdmin section of my live website. Inside the phpMyAdmin section you see there is an export tab over here. You click on export then the screen is going to look something like this. It might look a little different depending on uh, what version of uh, PHP MyAdmin is installed on your server. You can select the SQL option over here. You can scroll down and select the zipped option. So this is how the output file is going to be saved in this format. And then you can click on the go button on the extreme right over here. You see there is a go button. So when I click on the go button, it will prompt me to save a SQL file or it's a zipped file. It's the SQL.zip and I'm going to save this file on my desktop. So basically what this file is, it is a complete backup of the database of the live WordPress website. And this is how you take the database backup. So now that we have the database backed up from the live website, the second step in the process is to download all your WordPress files and folders from your live website to the local server. And I'm going to do that using a software or an FTP client called FileZilla. You can use any other FTP client if you have your own preference, but for this video, I'm going to use FileZilla as my FTP client. I have already created a folder on my desktop. Here is the folder that you can see. It is a blank folder right now. But eventually I am going to copy all the files from my live website onto this folder. So as you can see I have my FileZilla which is up and running on my desktop right now. I have already connected to the live WordPress website using the credentials that I have. And you can see here these are all the files and folders which are present on the live website. I am going to download all these files and folders onto the new folder that I created on the desktop. I am going to do that by selecting all the files and folders and then I am going to drag this or download it onto the new folder like this. The download process might take some time depending upon how much content you have on your live WordPress website. But once the download is finished, you will be sure that you have a complete backup of your live WordPress website. You will have a backup inside a folder that we created over here which contains all the files and folders from your live WordPress website and you will also have something like this which is a complete backup of your live WordPress website database. Now we have a complete backup of the live WordPress website. In this step we are going to create a new folder inside the www folder in the WAMP directory and we are going to copy and paste all the files and folders that I copied from the live WordPress website. I am on my desktop right now. We have already seen this folder where I have backed up all the files and folders from the my live WordPress website. I am going to copy this folder and then I am going to see WAMP www and I am going to paste that folder inside this directory. So I have I took this folder from the desktop and I am going to paste it inside the www folder inside the WAMP directory where I start a new project. In this step, I am going to import the database in localhost phpMyAdmin from the backed up SQL file. I 
am inside the PHP my admin section inside the local host right now I am inside the databases tab since I have to import all the contents from the old database I will go to the import tab over here I click on import I click on the browse button I will select the backup file this is the same backup file that we downloaded on the desktop this is the backup file for the database from the live website I click on open and then I click on the go button on the bottom it will take some time and now it says import has been successfully finished 690 queries executed now you see there is a new database it's called as this La Naratres Al Rawiya it exists in our new databases section so this database is an exact replica of the of the database that is on the live website now that the database is all set up we need to update the URLs inside the WordPress database which still refer to the live website to update the URLs in the database we have to run the following three SQL queries the following three SQL queries will make sure to replace any existence of the URLs of the live website with the URLs of the website hosted on the local host I'm going to run these queries one at a time in the PHP my admin to run these SQL queries you need to come to the PHP my admin section then click on the correct database click on the SQL tab in this window you need to type in your SQL query and then click on the go button to run the query now after running all the three queries we are on the final step of the migration process and this process involves uh, editing the WP config PHP file in this step we are going to edit the WP config .php file the only three configuration that we need to modify in this file are the database name the database username and the database password the database username is usually set to root in most of the cases and in most of the cases you will find that, that the database password is set to blank but if you have any other password you can enter that password and you have to just enter the configuration that is defined in your local host after configuring the wp-config.php file as shown in the previous step you can now click on the localhost and then you can click on the folder where your project is located when you do that you will see that your website now exists on your local server so this is the exact same replica of the website that exists on your live server and now it's on your local host so by following all the steps as I mentioned before you will have your website running on your local host exact same replica of the website that is copied from your live server thank you